I hate Plan B. <laughs> and I tell you why. Because we have so many doubters, as I've said earlier, the, the no-sayers. We have so many of those people that say no and you can't do it, it's impossible. That is okay because we just turn off, as I said earlier, and we listen and we hear the no being a yes, you can't do it, do it, you can do it, and all of that. So that, that is possible to do that amongst all the negative people around you. But when you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. Because now what you're basically saying is, is that if my plan doesn't work, I have a fallback plan, I have a plan B. And that means that you start thinking about plan B and every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. And it's very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net because plan B becomes a safety net. It says that if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else there that, was, that will protect me. And that's not good because people perform better when there's no safety net. People perform better in sports and everything else if you don't have a plan B. To me, it is very dangerous to have a plan B because you're cutting yourself off from the chance of really succeeding. And the reason, one of the main reasons why people want to have a plan B is because they are worried about failing. What is if I fail, then I don't have anything else? Well, let me tell you something. Don't be afraid of failing because there's nothing wrong with failing. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. There's no one that doesn't fail.